if we stand and, or walk through the, this going sun, we, we're really clear about the natural disposition of the sun, right? We know that it's, it's hot. <laughs> and we know that it, it, it's uh, full of light. We're quite clear about that, right? <laughs> Especially here. And so what be was became remarkable in my experience was that I became very, very clear just as I'm clear of the natural disposition of this incredible sun, that the natural disposition of a human being, of my mind, is innately beneficial. That my potent, relaxed state is always on benefit. And this is the great uh, solution to all, all of these problems of inequality, all of these uh, problems of uh, right and wrong and, and this person over that person. What I've seen in, in my experience is coming to terms with the ultimate solution to each and every problem that I faced and that there is a solution totally possible. That all of those, um, those, those incredible insolvable problems that I had seen amongst the world I started to see them being solved in my own experience, on the fly, in day-to-day -day life, in practical situations. Speaking up, um, being in a relationship where, where once I would react just from a knee-jerk response, seeing that as just that same reaction on a global scale of, of fighting and hatred and war, seeing that as, as not different and taking a stand right there, that's the end to all of that, that uh, deep and um, painful inequality that we can see around. And so here we offer the, this choice, we offer this empowerment and we offer this solution. And, and it is a complete solution. We can be bold when we say this because you can test it out right now. And this is what we're offering, a, an opportunity to test out this solution. So we offer the opportunity to tap in with reality and for me, I saw that there was just so many differences around the world, I, you know, I, so many um, just differences. But what I came to terms with was this ultimate similarity, this common ground of being that, that I am and that we all share. And this is open intelligence. This is the power to know. Each of us here are, are listening to this talk, um, maybe or maybe not. <laughs> we're hearing some words or we're perceiving some thoughts, we're experiencing. This power to experience is what open intelligence is. This simple power to experience is common to me, it's common to you. And it's what we all share. And so this interconnectedness is what we're tapping into every short moment. This is our connection with reality as it is, as it truly is. So reality tr as it truly is, is this expanse of opening intelligence, this forever opening intelligence, not a destination of a certain state, a certain, okay, I'm going to be this way, but a forever opening and expanding into a more comprehensive, and totally optimal way of being. So to test it out, to test it out in your experience, stop thinking. There we have this common experience again, like I shared, the ability to experience. Whether you have stopped thinking completely or whether you are raging with thoughts, this ability to perceive is unending and this power to know is always present and this is opening intelligence. And this is our greatest resource, funny enough. So for, in my experience, I walked around with many, many different data streams. Data streams we just term in balanced view as to encompass all experience, thoughts, emotions and sensations, keeping it very, very simple. Data occur and what I, from my experience, I saw that that was my only focus before understanding the nature of reality, before being educated in the nature of mind, before being introduced to open intelligence. 
the nature of my experience uh, was that there was this one data stream to the next, to the, to the next, to the next, and I had all of these preferences, and when they weren't fulfilled, then my, my day was down here. And when they, when they were fulfilled occasionally, sometimes rarely, um, sometimes often, then that was a better day. But you know what? Without the education in the nature of mind, to all of these positive experiences that I was so wanting to collect, there was such a, an emphasis on the hope that maybe they'll continue and the, 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 the utter fear that they're going to go away very, very soon. And they're just going to be fleeting. Because in my heart of hearts, I just saw the nature of reality like it truly is, that all data just uh, disappear like the flight path of the bird in the sky, spontaneously releasing. And so what was so powerful was that I was introduced through short moments, many times, short moments of relying on open intelligence, and repeating that spontaneously throughout my day, whether I'm experiencing a positive sensation, a negative sensation, a who cares sensation. Throughout all of my experiences, there was this increasing opportunity I found to really tap into to reality as it is. Reality being the basis of all descriptions rather than just being narrowed in to on, with tunnel vision on one specific description, hoping for God's sake that it will either go away or for <coughs> that it will just continue. And so when we speak about um, not really needing to be in any, any uh, special circumstances anymore, we're not saying that there are no preferences. We're not deleting all of your preferences and going to that extreme. What I found was remarkable was that I didn't really have to look uh, for my preferences to, and, and put myself in places where my preferences weren't being met. That when my preferences are being met, then it's just been so, such a um, relief to, to have short moments there to be free, completely free of the need to, to be concerned about whether they'll continue or not, or whether they'll go away. And the deep knowing that just from moment to moment, these preferences will probably not be fulfilled. So I found in my experience that there's no need to go hunting about uh, um, for those, uh, those special circumstances that will challenge us. I found those challenges coming <laughs> day to day <laughs> in daily life experience. Just presenting themselves naturally. And what I have found in there was this, an abundance of benefit. A total abundance of benefit, total abundance and generosity, our natural state. Like I said before, we go outside and we are just totally convinced of the natural state of the sun. I started to slowly become convinced of my natural state of complete abundance of benefit and generosity, whether I had money data streams of lack. What such an, an abundance of total empowerment is that? Each of us can, can sit here and, and, and think up the worst thoughts about our uh, conjure up all of these worst thoughts about money. Maybe we, we won't even have enough money to get to the end of the gate or I don't know. And yet our minds are always relaxed and at ease. There's total freedom, total joy, I find, in each of these perceptions. And for me, the money data streams have, have provided the, the most empowerment. So if you have them, you're so lucky. <laughs> so lucky. What an incredible resource you have. What an incredible resource to train up education in the reality as it is. <laughs>